And I said, oh, well, look, I've investigated Christianity. I've investigated this, this ism, this, that, all the isms. He goes, well, what about Islam? And I went, Islam? <laughs> Mate, they're terrorists. <laughs> but, alhamdulillah, I found myself walking into Preston Mosque one day. I was very nervous parking my car in the car park. I thought it might explode. <laughs> but, alhamdulillah, they were very hospitable. As an Australian, if you offer someone a cup of tea and they say no, you go, okay. These guys wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, bro? No, no, thanks, bro. Are you sure? No, 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 I'm right. Are you sure, bro? I'll go get one. No, no, I'm right, bro. No, no, I'm getting one anyway. Sure, right. Look, I'll, I'll just get you one, right? No worries, I'll get you one. All right, man, I'll take the tea, you know? One night, I was sitting at home, the Quran, I'm sitting there reading, and I stopped and I thought to myself, look, this is the time. I said, Allah, this is your chance. <laughs> I'm here, I'm asking you, where's my sign? You know, come on. And I waited, I think I waited about a minute, and that felt like a long time at the time. And I swear to you, nothing happened. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I was really disappointed. <laughs> So I turned, I turned the Qur'an, I opened, turned to the next page where I'd finished off. SubhanAllah, the very next verse that I read, For those of you who ask for signs, have we not shown you enough already? Look around you at the skies, the stars, land, the oceans. These are the signs for the people of knowledge. SubhanAllah, straight away my whole world changed. I was staring at the Qur'an, I was just in shock. I couldn't believe that I'd been so arrogant to ask for my own specific sign when the signs had been around me all the time. I went straight to the mosque the next day. But when I walked into the mosque, the people just started pouring in. And I went, SubhanAllah, look at this religion. You know, I've been to churches where there's, you know, 20 people, 30 people, 50 people. There was about a thousand people that night. And I thought, this is amazing. This religion is truly the religion of, of choice. So anyway, Abu Hamza took me aside, he said, look, you've got to make sure that we need witnesses. And I, I did, and alhamdulillah I did. I stood up in front of all the brothers and I, I to be honest with you, I was looking across this sea of beards. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu an Muhammadan Rasulullah. And I felt like a shower had been turned on and my whole body had been flush clean. And it, trust me, I needed to be flush clean. <laughs> I was standing up there. All the brothers started yelling out, Takbir! Allahu Akbar! I thought I'd done something wrong. <laughs> so I, I stood back a bit, and they started coming towards me, and I thought, oh no! I'm pretty sure I said what he said. And they started hugging me, and kissing me. Now I had never been hugged and kissed by that many men in my life. <laughs> But I felt the brotherhood. Straight away I could see people had tears in their eyes. And subhanAllah I had tears in my eyes. And it was that day, that point in that moment that I realized I had more brothers, more sisters than I could ever have imagined. I encourage you to investigate all the religions and particularly Islam. I would say that one of my favorite verses, I'll end with this verse, that says, let there be no compulsion in religion because the truth stands clear from error. Assalamu alaikum.